Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. Doubt him now, folks. Doubt him now. The undisputed UFC middleweight champion, Drakus Duplessis. And even though, of course, he wanted to beat Israel Adesanya for the title, it ended up being Sean Strickland. This man's the best in the world. And he has had knockers and doubters every step of the way. They knocked his cardio. They knocked his grappling. The man can fight. The man's a born fighter, as are a lot of individuals who grow up in South Africa. And now that he's the champion, in theory, he's 20 to 30 percent better. We'll see if the incumbent can get dethroned here tonight. Take for this middleweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alex Politan Pereira! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Greg All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. All right, one of the best middleweights in the world at present, Drake is Duplessis, prioritizing a fast start tonight as we get underway in round one. Not as though he's been a fighter who historically plays with his food at times, but Duplessis doesn't want to give his opponent any window for optimism nor confidence. As such, he felt like his jab was going to lead the dance, and eventually his right hand would close the shoot. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Duplessis gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, nice jab. Well, every MMA fight begins on the feet, and that is music to the ears of Alex Pereira, who has found a home for that left hook early. I mean, that's his best shot, man. We have seen Alex Pereira land this left hook and kickbox it to finish Israel Adesanya, and also inside the octagon where he knocked out Sean Strickland. It is such a powerful strike, and Pereira is a master of it. Nice punch to the head. 
So one minute into this fight, as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy, back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Nice shot inside by the champion. Able to block the punch there. Nice jab by Tony. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Just over three minutes now to go. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, how good is that hook? He lands another one here. He's connected on several in this round. Plenty more where that came from, to be sure. Oh, he blocked that punch. Nicely done defensively. Nice kick. All right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side. So he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. Oh, and there's that hook again, but this one is blocked. He does a phenomenal job of actually attacking the takedowns off of his punches. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flute choke looks locked in. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Lands with the ground and pound. Another ground and pound strike lands. Oh, reverses the position there. Nice transition by Dracus Duplessis. There it is. Now he's going to mount. He's got to be careful here. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Oh, you're doing great. That's awesome. Oh, good shot landed there from the bottom. Duplessis got him in a crucifix. Going to work from the top now. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Another strike gets through from the top position. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Oh, man, another ground strike gets through. It's going to be Motrin in the morning. The swelling starting to appear. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yep. Pareda's eye is now swollen shut. They could actually stop this fight right now, given how bad it is. Clearly, the referee keeping a close eye on the fight. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Drakus Duplessis. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so All right mercifully, so that is it for the round, down, and Pareda's eye right, is wearing it, folks. Visible damage down, now looks like it might even be completely shot, so we'll see if the cut man can do anything about it, but I wouldn't be surprised to see the doctor stop this fight here between rounds. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive Ready. instead of reactive in terms of his defense. Round two underway. Big land there. Pass. 
Oh, another brutal hook by him there. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He was able to fight through them in the previous round. Still plenty of time to go in this round. Still plenty of time to go in this round. And if he is not careful, one of those hooks will put him to sleep. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Padilla. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the ball. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. As he gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there disguising his entry. Mm, nice. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. Duplessis back inside control. Yeah. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Oh, nice overhand right. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the field. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let it hurt again. Oh, huge left. Just out of range with the big right hand. Pereira's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Ooh, big shot man. Circling to his right, grips the body there. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Great take down defense right now by the champ. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this round. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive... Oh! Pressing here. Oh, and now an uppercut. Duplessis goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Another big All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. He's got to be careful here. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their turn. But and his nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that. Herb Dean steps in! Oh, my goodness! What a fight! So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. All right, the official decision is in. Here once more, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 28 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, and still the undisputed USC middleweight champion of the world, 
So there he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, getting the win tonight by TKO over a very worthy number one contender. And maybe that's why you're seeing such a big celebration in the corner. They knew what type of challenge was in front of them here tonight, and they certainly took him out with style points. Congratulations.